So, we picked up the mister from work, and my contractions are getting stronger. They are lasting over a minute. It's, in, it's like pain radi radiating from my back, and I can kind of feel it down my hips a little bit. So this may be the real thing, or definitely the real thing, considering I'm damn near 40 weeks. Um, also, uh, what was I going to say? So what I think I'm going to do, I tried to call my sister. She called me, and I missed her call. Well, she called me an hour ago, and I probably was asleep. But I've been having my contractions now for like 35 minutes and it just got stronger like probably 10 minutes ago and the thing is I think I'm gonna go home hurry up and grab my you know the things you're gonna take to the hospital with you baby bag all that stuff car seat's already in the car um take me a shower I'm going to wait until it gets really really where I can't take it before I go into the hospital which is what I do how I do it. it's just been my routine and hopefully the baby waits out for me and don't come so you know fast abruptly right um let me see what else i don't know i guess while we're there we'll just we'll end up finding out what we're having instead of popping out i could just wait until i pop them out but then i might just wait until you know they do the ultrasound and just they blurt it out and i find out that way i'm not sure because i think i've waited long enough anyway but it would be so cool to see the baby coming out and then that's when you actually know what you're having versus being told to the Doppler thing or ultrasound. The Doppler. That's what it really is, the Doppler. Thing. Oh, it's Doppler radar? Right yeah, that's what it's... Ultrasound? Echo, yeah, it's fast enough that I learned that in college. But, um, yeah. So. I've always noticed that the ultrasound kind of does look like a weather forecast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what we are. We are in our pregnancy in our labor, so it's official. Labor has started. Actually, I'm contracting now. And, um, yeah. It's happening. And I always get kind of nervous at the same time when it's happening. When I hit nine months, it's like, oh, because you never know what can happen, when it can happen. And the pain, just knowing with the pain, I'm able to talk now through this contraction that I'm having, but when you, it's so breathtaking that you cannot talk. Like, for real. You cannot talk. So, Kingston, as usual, not that like he has worked so hard. In yeah, Minecraft. He worked so hard at Minecraft. My kids love Minecraft. And worked so hard at probably getting on Madison's nerves, right? Wouldn't you agree? And he's pooped. <laughs> and, and doing those things are very exhausting. <laughs> but um, I'm just ready to have the baby. I guess go through this whole process of a new person having to remember to get somebody out the car, having to remember to buckle them in the car seat. Um, right, <laughs> having to remember not to leave them in the house and just take off. I, I don't know. I'm just saying these things, but I know some moms go through that, especially the first time moms. Um, but I'm ready to kind of get my face back because my face is so swole. Oh, that's that phone call that I never can tell. Hello? I can't with you either. I ain't gonna be quiet and you will rehire me. How you gonna fire me and tell me, you know, you, I'm a real ply. <laughs> no, the position is not filled. Can't nobody replace you. Anywho, anyhow. I didn't know you called. Because the ringtone, somebody changed the ringtone. Nobody know, know, know who did it, but the ringtone is different. And, uh, yeah. Ain't nobody checking for this ringtone. It's just like, I thought the camera was shutting off. Like, shuttering off or shutting off before... I look down and see the phone, man. Dre looked down and his, yeah. But girl, there it's happening because um, the contraction got stronger and it lasted more than a minute and stuff like that. <laughs> Say again. Stay active so it doesn't stop. Stay active? Yeah, so it doesn't stop. So it don't stop? Yeah, so the contraction don't stop. You know, it's the kind that if you raise it, they stop. Well, you know, I, I mean, I got out the car to switch places with Dre, and um, it's still going on, and it's stronger. Girl, oh, okay. And usually, I, if I reposition, you know, it'll go away. You get your little regular little contraction that you feel here and there, breast and hip, it goes away. But now, yeah. they've been consistent, and I've had them over 40 minutes now. Oh, that's, oh, that's a sign. Yeah, they're ready to get out. I'm having out one there. now. Huh? They're ready to get out. Out, yeah. All right. I see what they're going down then. <laughs> And then um, I was like, Dre, this is one, this one a little different because this day ain't cooling my hips. And you know you have to be careful when you go into labor because 
Uh, you think you got all the time in the world like you did with your other pregnancies, and then uh, and right the baby just come on up out of there. Thank you. No warning, you know, besides the yep. little contractions, and then bam, you don't hit it's 10 centimeters. Okay, I went from the stop bridge all the way to the back down yeah, north side house here. You said who did what? Big down when she was pregnant with um. Right. And I don't know, you know. And then the baby, of course, got really active too, because I was like, okay, this is uncomfortable. Because usually when a contraction is coming, the baby moves because, like, massaging or doing something, they feel it. Yeah, it's constricted, yeah. Mm hmm. That's what he or she been doing.
man, he looks like my own nothing. Okay, so, I, because, you know, it's just like this feeling, I couldn't shake this feeling, I went ahead and took the pregnancy test, and voila, we're pregnant. So, I didn't want to overshadow my sister who planned her pregnancy, even though she was excited. I didn't tell nobody, like social media, anything like that, nobody, I, nobody knew until she had her baby. So she left the hospital, or no, was at the hospital with her baby, and her baby came out. Then, and, and it was when I was holding the baby and posted a picture of me holding the baby that you can see my little bump. And by then, I'm already like over seven months pregnant. Or I was seven months. So, yeah. Um, I just, you know, didn't want to overshadow it, even though she was like, oh no, we're sisters. We should have. And we forgot to take pictures while we were pregnant. Ugh, so suck. Like, it sucks. Even though I kept reminding her that she couldn't wait to have our baby. She made herself go in a little early. Anyway, so, yeah. We do the natural family plan. I just learned what that is when you don't plan and if you have a baby, blah, blah, blah. So my babies have all been like that. Madison has been like that. And I've never had any abortions. I've never been pregnant any other time, you know, whatever, and lost a baby. Um, Madison is my first. Casey is my second. And now we have this new baby that's coming along. And like I said, Madison, she just turned 11. Kingston is six. And then we have this baby. So you see the age gap. Yeah, it's real. But I'm not going to be like 40 and whatnot still popping out babies. So better believe I'm going to ask about that female condom because I don't want to get on like that. And shots and stuff, everybody just really blow up from those. And some people get super skinny. No, I don't know what he's talking about. He's just saying stuff. It's all about the hormones. I think some people get uh, super skinny. Somebody gets super skinny. What is he talking about? You too. Come in. Yes, go off on him because folks don't get no super skinny. He just be saying stuff. He think he's talking me into something. I think I don't know about this life. I know what it is. Um, but anyway. I'll try the female condom and see how that is or whatever. Anybody try the female no, condom? Diaphragm. And, and see how that is and how that works diaphragm. out? And uh, it's not called that. And I mean, see, you might as well use try diaphragm. You might as well. Mm -mm. I said I want to try the female condom. Uh, okay, and so. Tell me, like, are they pricey? Uh, how many in a pack? Uh, where do you get them? Do they even sell them over the counter? Like, come, please comment that below and let me know. Let your girl know what's going on with them female condoms. And what they call them? Because um, I know they exist, <laughs> but. I, it slipped my mind right about now, uh, what they call it. But anywho, you know she good for it. But um, yeah. Oh dang, I didn't even time my last contraction. I'm sure they still coming. I feel one tapering off. But um, I'm gonna go home. This is time I say get active and see what's going on. Girl, I know about that. You know, you know, some folks like to walk and stuff more. Lazy. I ain't gonna be walking no more than I've been walking. Though. But um, yeah, I'll keep you all posted. Cause this one is been really long okay. and another thing youtube i be trying to edit and all the other stuff i didn't learn how to cut stuff I, you know work with me i'm learning because some stuff i can cut but i don't know how to cut it you know what i mean so you be getting the whole full version of the conversation because she don't know how to cut stuff yet you know her way around all this stuff 